And we are back on the zoo with Pedro Nava, a.k.a. Felipe Valle Costa. No, 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 no. What is it? How do you say it? How do you say your name? <laughs> Felipe Valle Costa. Ay, Felipe. caramba. Yeah, Felipe. Felipe. Almost like there's no E in the middle. Like yeah. Felipe. Felipe. Kind of like closer to uh, French Felipe than oh, uh, Spanish Felipe. Felipe Valle yeah. okay, Costa. Okay. Yeah, yeah that's go. really good. What, how is that? Uh, yeah. Felipe Valle Costa. Valle Costa. Yeah. yeah. Think Spanish, but then close it. Yeah. Oh, you know? Okay. So like if you say Felipe Valle Costa, and then Felipe Valle Costa. Okay. It's like, yeah, Portuguese people hide. Or Felipe Chu. Yeah. Yeah. Bless you. So I love Snowfall. Number one, I'm a big Good. fan of John Singleton, yeah. the guy behind the thing. I mean, Boys in the Hood, I grew up on a lot of his, you know, movies, and I also loved Atlanta. I love a lot of the shows that FX is putting out, so I was really excited. Love stories from the 80s. Yeah, Tell yeah. us about the show and how it treats um, the beginning of the crack epidemic in the 80s from multiple angles, yeah. it seems. Yeah, so Snowfall is a, is, is a show, a TV show on FX mm -hmm. about the crack cocaine epidemic in the mm -hmm. 80s. Mm -hmm. And um, it tells the story of how it started. Mm -hmm. And also, you know, beyond that, you get to see actually how it was affecting people's lives at a really personal level. Mm -hmm. So I actually, I've been saying that, yes, it's a show about that. It's about drugs, it's mm -hmm. got violence, it's got sex, all the good things Ooh. that we all love. <laughs> but it also tells a beautiful story about family and how Wait. this was affecting people at a very personal level. Do yeah. we see you having sex on the show? Uh, uh, I wish. No, 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 no. no, no, no. Because no. you're like the bratty son of the drug pit, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually, I was having a conversation with the showrunner. Uh -huh. Episode two, we came back from shooting the pilot. Uh -huh. And he's like, ah, I don't think he smokes. And I was like, good, I don't want to smoke. Because okay. every single Mexican gangster you've ever seen smokes, right? So, so we were like... you supposed to be Mexican in the show. Yeah, I'm Mexican. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Americanized Mexican. Because yeah, he was yeah, born yeah. in like L.A. Yeah. yeah, that's actually part first of the story, second. which I think is really cool. It tells, you know, it, it's that perspective of families that have come from other parts of the world come here and deal very much with that reality yeah. of the American dream. But yeah, what, what were we talking about? Um, I got lost in your eyes, honey. I yeah. forgot oh. what I was going to ask you. <laughs> yeah. oh, we were talking about the sex and you were talking yeah. about the show running yeah. and smoking and all that He stuff. was like, I think <laughs> he's just a sex addict. Oh, he's a sex yeah. addict. You're a said, sex addict. Better yeah. than smoking. Right. right, and he oh. said he said this to me, and I kept, I, I kept I kept waiting for that scene the whole show, and it never came, and I was very sad. Well, no, hopefully just there'll be another season where we yeah. can see yeah. all of this. Absolutely, yeah. you have the whole playoff. age to go through. Yeah. Uh, what I also appreciate about the show is that they also tap into some of the conspiracy theories about like the American CIA yep. getting involved in trafficking yep. the crack cocaine because they would take the money to arm the rebels right. in Colombia. Yep. Like, uh, were you familiar with in some Nicaragua. of those in Nicaragua? Nicaragua. Yeah, the, uh, yeah, the, uh, the, uh, were, were the you context. familiar with some of these uh, storylines? No, that was actually. Actually, a lot, of, a lot of my journey was yeah. that being surprised by the involvement of the government in all of this. Yeah. And I, I couldn't believe it, you know, with everything that is going on right now in this mm -hmm. country. I was like, oh my God, this is so timely. Yeah. And it's so great that we're telling this story yeah. right now. And that's exactly the story that it's telling, that, that CIA was responsible for all these right. other communities' right. uh, demise, in a way, you know, yeah. because the, of the, the Contras, all over North, the Iran Contra scale. I mean, it's it's, yeah. it's all it's all so shady, you're but covering, yeah, yeah. It's a history whole lesson. Little. Well, yeah. plus there's the conspiracy theory that they were also flooding poor communities with this drug to basically decimate those communities and have oh, them, yeah. you know, kind of turn on themselves. Right, right, you know? right, yeah. right. Now I'm getting yeah. a little. No, yeah, no, yeah, but, but the show does a really good job yeah. at showing that, and yeah. I love that because it gives that perspective. More often than not, when these stories are told, they're very, they're, they're told from a very narrow perspective. Yes. Mm. This time, you get to see the full picture and why exactly certain communities were being. Right. Well, affected. that's the wonderful thing about yeah. having a TV show versus a movie. You can actually stretch that, stretch exactly. all of that out, and yeah. really juice it out. Yeah. Well, now TV shows look like movies, and I think FX exactly. is on their Netflix, HBO. Yep. I mean, it's it's a lot of writing talent, directorial talent, and acting talent. Yeah. It used to be when you acted in like a sitcom or some you know some drama on ABC, it was kind of cheesy. It was, but you guys are really They're doing some realistic yeah. performance. Yeah, they brought. Uh, I mean, the thank you. And topics are getting really good. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. I, I love the work they did right off the bat with the show. I mean, it looks so beautiful. I've been mm -hmm. telling people that watch it because it really is a love letter to LA. It just right. looks oh. so cinematic. It was awesome to see it at the premiere at the big on the big screen. It made it made more sense even. Was well, it surreal yeah. for you? Because you said that as a kid, a relative took you to watch Boys in the Hood, yeah. and then now you're working yeah. with, you know, yeah. the guy behind that film. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know that story. I yeah, know that it, story. It's, it's all really surreal because I left Portugal when I was 17, straight up telling people that I'm going to go to Hollywood and I'm going to become an actor, you uh -huh. know? And one thing is to say it then, but then you get here and there's the reality and yeah. life, right? Yeah. Life kicks in. Of course. Uh, but yeah, I mean, my uncle arrived, I was staying with my grandparents and my uncle arrives home pretty drunk. I was very young, 12 years old, and uh, he's drunk and he comes in and he's like, I'm going to show you this movie. So at 2 a.m. we start watching Boys in the Hood uh -huh. and my uncle shows me this movie, which is like, 
now that I think back to it, kind of, you know. Uh, that's why yeah. you yeah. to LA. That's why yeah. yeah. like, for children. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. But that that it's it's bizarre to then work with John and spend time with John and right. be on set with John. And it's he's such a warm person. He's oh. always smiling. He's really wise, but at the same uh, uh, manages to maintain that it, beautiful innocence okay. about him. So it was really great. You kind yeah. of brought it into reality somehow. So yeah. that's amazing. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure it's yeah. a good feeling. That's it, exactly. Like, it's, it's crazy. All of it is been very crazy good and, crazy like even being here today it's like wow it's just all of it well that's good. because this, this is, is literally zoo. crazy yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah your guys's energy i was like i don't know if i can keep up with this, you this can, is like, you can. yeah you guys are awesome yeah yeah, yeah. thank you yeah now um Th the audition process for you, you said that, you know, you get confused, I, I, I'm, I'm even confused about this. Yeah. Here you get confused with Latino, but in Portugal you already consider yourself Latino? Or what, yeah, what's I the mean, deal with that? I grew up with my mom saying we have Latin blood, we're okay. Latino, you know? Not necessarily Latino the way we say the word Latino here, okay. but always growing up. Not my Hispanic, mom, but Latin. Yeah, we have Latin blood in us, okay. and that's our, very much, if I bring you to Portugal, you'll feel like you're you're in a party, yeah, you know? Portugal, like we, Spain, Italy, yeah, they're exactly. all Latin. Yeah, exactly, there, right. there is, you know, so, so, you know, Languages and, exactly. Yeah. Being in America, I, I connected to a lot of Latino people first because mm -hmm. that felt closer to me, right. you know. But it's it's a strange nationality to be in, in America, Portuguese, mm. because not a lot of people Do know much about it. Do they confuse you with Brazilian yeah. at all? Uh, all the time. Uh, when I graduated, people said, Felipe Valle Costa from Puerto Rico. And, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and uh, people have asked me if Portugal has cars. So yeah. this has been my reality, you know, just Sorry. showing, just uh, teaching people what my country is. And that's also a beautiful it's thing. A and beautiful you guys got great country. food, by the way. Uh, tell yeah. Cristiano Ronaldo that uh, Vivi says hi. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait, me will. too. Okay, let, let him will. know, okay? We both I say will. hi. Yeah. I I almost played his cartoon once when they had the World Cup. They Dude, had this cartoon, and I was really close you, to. Him. Yeah, like you remind me of him a lot. You, you, I don't know. Yeah, if you're like his like... cousin. You're a shorter cousin. Yeah, yeah a shorter, is he tall? less attractive cousin. Maybe you yeah. have something like something about you reminds yeah. me of him. And I was just gonna say it before yeah. you brought it up, so he Good. kind of he's, my mind. he's attractive, right? He's oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Good. Yeah. Then I'll take. No, but you don't get too far behind. Let's just be honest. Thank you, Dennis. Thank you. Yeah. I mean, we'll need to see you play soccer, but I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah.